All right, you guys, Mr. Red Logan here, and um, I just stumbled upon a really good plugin called Juke Bucket. Uh, it was created by Chris Rules All, and it allows you to create custom music discs in Minecraft using Spout. Um, it's a really good plugin, and I must say the people on on my server love it. So um, let's go ahead and go over to installation real quick. Um, when you download it, you'll get the JukeBucket.jar. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to your plugins folder and you want to go ahead and just drag it straight in there. Now um, you do need Spout in order for this to happen. Um, sorry about Centrals, you do not need Centrals there. But you need Spout and Jukebucket. Juke um, after you got that, let's go ahead and uh, run the server real quick. So it's a um, Jukebucket enabled somewhere in there. So your Jukebucket right there, enabled, so it is running fine. So we're going to close that out, and um, I'll go ahead and I'll get in Spout, Spoutcraft here, and then we'll go over the rest. Nice and simple installation there. Alright, you guys, Mr. Red Logan here, and um, now that we're in game, I'll go over um, all the different blocks you can make. Um, let's go ahead and start. Uh, you need a crafting bench in order to do it, and this is most of the basic supplies that you're going to need. So if we can go ahead and just get four obsidian, like so. Put one redstone dust in the middle, and you're going to get yourself a blank city disc. Now, um, you can't dye this, because right now it's just white and plain. So this is going to get a blank orange obsidian disc. There's sort of the fun of it. Um, now, this does nothing by itself. We, it's just blank. It does nothing. So, if we go into our crafting bench, and get some note blocks and some juke boxes, like so, um, you can get your prototype juke box. Very simple. So let's go and lay that down, but as okay when I put it in, it gets it right back out. It's because it has not been burnt yet. So this is going to get a furnace and a jukebox, and you'll get your prototype burner. So we'll go ahead and place this down, like right there. Um, you go ahead and right click on the furnace, or on your burner, and it'll ask for the URL. Now I use Dropbox because it's the simplest, and you can just click Control V in order to paste it in. It does have to be an AUG Vorbis or WAVE format. I will not read any others. So after I burn it, it it right back out and is now a burned obsidian disc. But it doesn't really name the song or anything. So that's when this paper comes in. If you right click an air with this paper, you can write a label. Let's go ahead and name it Daft Punk. And now we have a label. So if I left click this label, and right click it on the disk, it will then name the disk Daft Punk. So we can go ahead and now we can play this. Let's see how it's playing. Um, now this jukebox does not have much of a range. As you can tell, I already can't hear it. It's relatively weak. So in order to make it stronger, we can make a more powerful jukebox. So if you have an extra one of these laying around, which is the exact, exact same kind, and you surround it in wood, like so, um, you'll get a low range jukebox. Now this one goes a little bit further, and it still looks a little bit more different. Now you see, I got a little bit further. Now um, they, they increase the, the higher you upgrade them, and they actually get upgraded pretty far. So let's go ahead and uh, let's make a bunch of these. Let's see, you get another um, you can get another regular prototype, surround it by wood, and you get a low range. Now with this low range, if you put two note blocks right on the left side and right side, and uh, make you put wood around it, you'll get a mid-ranged jukebox. Go ahead and place the mid-ranged one right there, also looks a little bit different, also reaches a little bit farther. Oh man, you gotta make a bunch of these things, don't you? So if we get another one of those, and let's see in here. One of those. Now, um, if you get your mid-range here, as soon as I get to that point. You get your mid-range, and you surround it with four note blocks, like so. And another four wood, you'll get a long-range jukebox. And it actually gets out pretty far. So I can close that one right there. Notice it has, it has a bigger speaker on it now. 
and it goes even further yet. So, let's go ahead and make yet another one. There's only one more tier. Don't worry, you guys. And yeah, nice little low range here. Start it with that. Let's see. Get a little mid range. You need your long range. Now, with this long range, you can surround this with note blocks, and you'll get a max range jukebox, which it practically goes out there forever. You just have to go. Okay. Oh, run. So it hasn't gotten any quieter yet. So, it has quite a range on it. But, um, yeah, that's the, the juke box, the juke bucket plugin, I must say, is very fancy. And, um, I definitely say that you should support the developer on that. And I will be, and that's just how it is. Thank you for watching.